third. Now, as we promised, last night we had a very, very interesting women's 1500 meters. The Visa Championship Series leader, Kristen Worth Thomas, having a great 2008 indoor season. And this is how we called it. Next event on the track, the Hershey's women's 1500 meters. You can see the meet world and American records there. Seven and a half laps of this 200 meter oval here at Roxbury Community College. And coming into this meet, that woman, Kristen Worth Thomas, the leader on the women's side of the Visa Championship Series. And it's always determined here at the Nationals, both men's and women's. Also someone else to watch here, Sarah Hall, wife of 2008 Olympian Ryan Hall, who's already made that team in the marathon. And who's created a great buzz, Dwight, you know, with his marathoning running and his distance running talents that he's shown in the last couple of years. Also of note, Tiffany McWilliams, who is also running the 800 meters here at the USA Indoor Championships. And of course, Janelle Dethridge as well, who was the winner here last month of the Reebok meet second last week in Fayetteville when Worth Thomas won a great mile on that wonderful oval at the University of Arkansas and we're off. And that mile you talked about was the third fastest ever run by an American woman in history for the mile. She ran 427 on that great, as you say, that oval down at the Randall Tyson Arena. Pace is slow. This is tactical right away. This is really slow, folks. The race walkers might get into this race here. And so that you can take note, only Sarah Hall, Kristen Worth Thomas, and Janelle Dethridge have the World Indoor Championship qualifying standard, so they, none of them have to run for that here, but only the top two will qualify for the world. I have never seen a slower 1,500 meters in my life for the first half lap. I mean, now somebody's saying, okay, folks, let's get a little bit real here, even if it's tactical. 416, that standard. To, to make the worlds, and as you say, only three women here have done it, so everybody else has taken themselves out of that chance to get the world, except these three women with a slow opening lap. Natalie Gindrich, formerly of Cornell, leading still what is a very pedestrian pace. Sarah Hall is there in third. You can see the taller Tiffany McWilliams out there in fourth, fifth, and Christopher Thomas right there in the middle of the pack. One minute and 18 seconds, folks. That is like a wow. We're talking over five minutes and 12 seconds for a mile. It's a wow in reverse. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Kristen Worth Thomas says, okay, enough of that. And Janelle Dethridge also coming up. Kristen Worth Thomas deciding that this, uh, this pace is not good for anybody. And Annie Shadle's up in second place and trying to kind of reestablish herself after a couple of down years after leaving the University of Nebraska as an NCAA Indoor and Outdoor 1500 champion. She's in third, and that's Deathridge in second now, moving up. It looks like a repeat of the University of Arkansas a week ago. So Thomas continuing to lead now over Deathridge, and the pace has picked up significantly. Four laps remaining in this Hershey's women's 1,500 meters. Coming up to 800 meters. Worth ran 212 in high school for the 800. Was a 434 1,500 meter runner, showing lots of promise. And now in her ninth year being coached by Lance Harder down at Arkansas, where she still resides. Sarah Hall back in fifth, looking to be out of it at this point. Annie Shadel hanging on in third, but... Worth Thomas and Janelle Dethridge have gapped the rest of the field by a little bit. Amy Mortimer in third place as Sarah Hall now moves into fourth. Three laps remaining. Mortimer running well this year. Her best is fourth, fifth, uh, 433 for the mile, so she's right in good company with Shadle in front of her. Hall likes to kick well at the end, and she's moving into position to try and get third place at this point. Kristen Murth Thomas continuing to do the work out there in front, and Janelle Dethridge in a good position. Coming up with just two laps remaining, Murth Thomas looking like she's working a little harder than she did in Fayetteville. You know, her time was really impressive, Dwight, down there at 4.27. That is faster. Her time down indoors early in the season, faster than any American woman ran the mile outdoors last year. And now Kristen Ruth Thomas is gapping Janelle Dethridge. She's been able to sustain this drive. Sarah Hall moving into third place now as Dethridge appears to be stuck in one place. And coming up to the bell lap, it's Kristen Ruth Thomas carrying over a great performance from last week. 
to dominating this Hershey's women's 1500 meters. Sarah Hall looking like she's got her sights on Janelle Deathridge. Remember, only two athletes going to the World Indoor Championships, and Sarah Hall trying to grab that second place. That's a good point, Dwight. Everybody battling here. It's going to be close. Hall tends to close while she's gaining a little bit on Deathridge at this point. Probably chopped down a step or so on that back stretch. The advantage for Deathridge looking into the big screen is going to be all Kristen Worth Thomas is going to win it by about 20 meters. Janelle Deathridge is going to hang on to second place. Those will be your team members in Valencia. 4-14-22 unofficially. Deathridge second, Hall third. And off a very, very slow early pace, the three best this season have emerged in the same place here at the USA Indoor Championships. Kristen Worth, Dwight Great. Thomas, has gotten better and better over the years. Now, this was what was going on, a very slow pace initially. No one wanted the lead, and it really, really dawdled in the first uh, two laps. And then she decided, look, why hang around for the sprint finish of somebody like Tiffany McWilliams or others who have great speed? She said, I'm strong, I'm very fit. This gal was a fourth place finisher in the Foot Locker cross country in high school when she was an underclassman. As usual, her face scrunched up, powering along though, and she easily wins with a very fast last 800 meters. So for two weeks in a row, Kristen Worth Thomas, very impressive. Janelle Deathridge in second. That is Kristen Worth Thomas's first national title, and Sarah Hall off the team in third. All right, well, I think we're all curious to know about the strategy earlier. No one wanted to take the lead. What was going on? You know, some races go like that. When you don't have a rabbit and you don't have anyone that wants to take it, you just got to sit and you've got to run your own race. And my coach, Lance Harder, has me ready for any kind of strategy of a available to me so it's, it's a lot of fun all right christian so you've got the national championship now what do you hope to do in valencia at the worlds you know i still have to get the a standard so we're hoping to come away with that at worlds and it's it's been a lot of fun it's been a fun season if you would have told me i was going to do this a month ago i wouldn't have believed you all right congratulations thank you